Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cheyenne and I make a lot of mommy lifestyle, beauty, and cleaning types of videos. So if you're into that thing, make sure you subscribe and press that bell icon as well so you get notified every single time I post. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys my tips and tricks on how I got pregnant fast with all three of my kids. I'm currently pregnant with my third right now. Her name is going to be Eliana. Um, this is my second daughter and my firstborn is my boy. So yeah, I'm really excited. I love having daughters and I love having a boy too. I'm just really excited that the two girls are going to get to kind of like grow up together as well and I hope that my next one is a boy so that Mason can have a brother too. That way it's kind of all even because I feel bad for him. But yeah, so I just want to give a disclaimer that I am not a fertility specialist. I don't know everything about getting pregnant. I'm just giving you guys my tips on what kind of worked for me and what I think kind of made a little bit of a difference. Even if it didn't, this is just my tips for you guys. So, and I also want to say too, if you're struggling with fertility and all of that stuff, I really honestly feel for you and I couldn't imagine. I got really lucky. I got pregnant with my kids really fast. I believe that it all has to do with timing and special baby your special beautiful baby will come at its time god just has like a very special individual that he has its whole life planned out for and they can't come just yet if that makes any sense i don't know if you guys aren't religious just skip over that part but that's what i believe so just try to be patient and keep the faith map with all the stars so you know you're not too far away from me so my first tip for you guys today is to track your ovulation and cycles using the Glow app. I tracked mine, started tracking mine three months before I was trying to conceive with this last one. With my daughter, I tracked it for like maybe two months. And then with my son, I didn't use any type of tracking at all. So with my first two, I got pregnant. The first full month we tried, but we started trying a month before, not during my fertile period. So we skipped over the fertile period on accident um, because we decided to try just later in the month was when we had in mind. And I just didn't really know with my son. <laughs> Um, and I knew that could still, there's a very just small percentage, but it could still happen. So that didn't really count, but we got pregnant the second month. Um, but the first month fully trying, if that even makes any sense. And the same thing kind of happened with my daughter. So yes. And I knew with my daughter that I wasn't even through a fertile period. So I was kind of like, if it happens, then it like really was meant to happen this month, but we always have next month during my fertile period to do it. So that app just gives you the percentages of the days, like what your percentages are. You can just track everything. You get to know your body so much better and um, yeah it gives you a lot of useful tips and tricks and just drinking a lot of water just taking care of yourself it just gives so many good tips and tricks that could possibly be helping you or not helping you when you're trying to get pregnant. The next one is to not take Benadryl or Unisom. I take Unisom nightly um, because I have a hard time sleeping. I was doing that and I was like that might affect because it's a sort of antihistamine like Benadryl. So I stopped taking it. I think I, I stopped taking it way before my even fertile window. So I think it kind of like didn't even not didn't even make a difference because I stopped taking it before my fertile my fertile window anyway. So I don't know if that's exactly true, but that's what I've heard that it could kind of dry up your cervical mucus and the sperm won't be able to kind of like swim in there naturally like it normally should. Another one is to just make sure you're truly ready because a lot of it is mental and if you're truly not ready to have a baby, then just try to wait a little bit until you feel a lot better about the situation because I truly feel like our mind, body, and soul are all connected. And if you don't feel truly ready, then it's just not time. And that could be why it's not happening either if you feel like you're not ready. The next one is be patient and don't stress. Like I said, mind, body, and soul all connected. If you're stressing, it's just not healthy for your body like in any way, shape, or form. So just try not to stress and just be patient. And I know it could be hard. It's easy for me to say given how fast I've gotten pregnant every single time. But I do believe that it could affect in one way, shape, or form. So 
just be mindful of that. The next one is to take care of yourself. So drink a lot of water. If you're not taking care of yourself, I truly believe that our bodies will not let something stick if it's not a safe place for it. Just try to drink a lot of water, have a healthy diet, um, take care of yourself mentally like as well because if you're just stressed, your body's not going to want something to be there if it's like barely taking care of itself already. So that could kind of have a reason to do with it, I think. Scientifically proven, probably not, but just take care of yourself. That is a huge important factor before pregnancy, after pregnancy, when you're not even trying to get pregnant, just take care of yourself. Um, the next one is to do it every day on and around your fertile zone or every other day. I personally probably missed only two days during my fertile window. A lot of people say to do it every other day because it can kind of affect what's already in there. If you kind of like knock out what's already in there trying to implant because um, sperm can live in there for three to five days. So I don't know how true it is of what you should do, but I did it personally every day except for two days because of just life. I just feel super weird talking about like that stuff if my mom's watching this or my dad or something. <laughs> Very awkward, but uh, these are just my tips and tricks for you guys because I really want to just I could help I want to the next one is to start taking prenatals months before you're trying so if you know you're gonna start trying in the summer and it's winter start now if you know you're gonna start trying um, in three months start now if you think you're gonna start trying next month start now the longer those are in your system the healthier your body's gonna be and the the better chance it has to just get there, you know, because your body is like super healthy already. The next one is to lay down for 15 minutes after intercourse. And I did that. And my husband was like, are you okay? What are you doing? Are you hurt? <laughs> Cause it's just a very awkward thing to do for so long. But I feel like gravity doesn't just doesn't work with you. If you just stand up right away, I mean, it's just gonna not swim that well I don't think I don't know I feel like I'm getting really into feel like I'm getting getting mental pictures and that's not what I'm trying to do in this video but sorry um the next one is get off birth control months before trying because it takes a long time for your body to get used to not being on birth control and you don't want to get off the month before trying and be like discouraged about not getting pregnant the first month because it's still in your system and it's still affecting your body a lot I think when I used to take birth control it took me about four months to start getting my cycle back regularly and all of that so just keep that in mind if you think you're gonna start trying like even six months out stop taking it at least you know that you were trying and you were gonna be trying so if it did accidentally happen it wouldn't be that big of a deal but I just think it's like super important to create a safe spot before it even happens if that makes sense next one which is the last one is make it good don't make it just about conceiving because that can make it just very awkward. It can make it probably not so heartfelt to where it could make it not even happen. Like, I don't know. I feel like it all has to do with your emotions as well. <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid. I have no idea. But I just feel like you are trying to make a baby with your spouse or your loved one. So you should just try your best to make it not just about that, but about you two creating a life and it should be like a beautiful thing. Not so much like a, come on, like we're doing it just to have a baby, like let's hurry up and go. Um, we don't wanna miss today, like make it more romantic than that because it is a beautiful thing to try to create a life with your spouse. It's not, it's not like a lighthearted thing, I, d I don't think. So yeah, those are all of my tips for you guys. If you guys can take from this, that is good because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like these are good tips, but at the same time, it's kind of just has to do with my personal opinions on things. But um, I'm sure a lot of women out there can, can agree with me, like the whole mind, body, and soul, and it has to do with how you're feeling and all that type of stuff. So I hope this like kind of changes your perspective and kind of helps you out a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and like I said in the beginning, click that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys and thanks for watching.